where you scream to watch that watch this and I'll dive down through this hair reflection. Hi and welcome to a special CJ Reviews episode of Watch This. I've got a film that I can highly recommend. It's the Danish film Land of Mine. Glaubst du, dass ich mir leid tun? Der Herr Feldwebel hat gesagt, dass wir nach Hause dürfen, wenn wir fertig sind. Und glaubst du, dass der Herr Feldwebel auch sein Wort halten wird? My fingernails were being bitten down to the quick by my teeth because the young German soldier's fingers were jittering. I was watching the Danish entry for best foreign language film at this year's Oscars, Land of Mine, and it was a white knuckle ride. Here's the context for the story. At the end of World War II, about two million landmines littered the Danish coast. The Germans, occupants of Denmark for nearly the entire war, figured the Allies would storm the beaches and try and take it back. But that didn't happen. So when the war ended as part of the reparations treaty, German soldiers had to go to Denmark to find, defuse and dispose all those landmines buried in the sand. They sent, effectively, 2,000 boys, the youngest possible soldiers, 16-year-olds, with wispy whiskers and baby faces. The landmines, of course, were live and lethal. German boys blew up. In terms of tension and suspense, who could possibly imagine a better setup? Writer-director Martin Zanvlit, however, gives us much more than a bloody horror show. By focusing on the growing relationship between Danish Sergeant Karl Rusmussen, Roland Müller, and his squad of 14 young Germans tasked with clearing one particular beach over three months, Zanvlit forensically examines issues of vengeance, forgiveness, compassion and humanity. Specifically, how different we really are and how different we are willing to believe we are. Pretty relevant stuff for 2017, no? We first see Rasmussen beating a German soldier as he walks out of Denmark with his colleagues. The German was trying to leave with a Danish flag and the burly, very manly Rasmussen is livid. This is my country, he screams as he rains down blows. Not yours, you are not welcome here. And despite his brutality, who can blame him? These were his oppressors, his home invaders, the savage barbarian destroyers of his entire world, and everything was unequivocally their fault. Why shouldn't they take a beating? But should they get blown up on the beach? Well, why not? They bloody well put the bombs there in the first place, didn't they? These are the moral, ethical, and deeply humanistic value questions at play. Rasmussen, assumedly single and childless, living on a beachside farm with his dog, is a tough nut. But these are boys under his charge, and they're getting their arms blown off. Is compassion inevitable? Or are the wounds of the world's worst crime impossible to bandage? Moller is spectacular in the role of Rasmussen. His physique, his thin moustache, the way he wears his khaki uniform and his prominent insignias, the way he tends to the fist he injured beating the German at the film's beginning, all point to a career soldier who still mostly has his shit together even as the world has gone insane. Mostly. His character arc across the film is beautifully structured and he modulates it precisely and unsentimentally as you imagine Rusmussen himself would. Mola got out of prison in 2002 after spending four and a half years inside for 10 assault convictions. Until now, he's almost exclusively played hardcore criminals, as he himself was. He justly won Denmark's highest acting honour last year for his portrayal of Rasmussen. The filmmakers shot at some of the actual beaches involved and, during production, found a real mine. How perfect and perfectly sad. I really recommend you go see Land of Mine. It is a brilliant and very, very disturbing, tense and moving film. The small dreng, the small dreng, that roper på deres mål. Jeg synes, hvis man er gammel nok til at gå i krig, så er man også gammel nok til at rydde op efter sig selv. Oh, 
Austin Youngs. You've been watching a CJ Reviews episode of Watch This. Watch that, watch this, and I'll die.